semiconductors. Classification of materials based on energy band theory. To understand the behavior of solids, we need to know about the three energy bands, namely valence band, conduction band, and forbidden band, or forbidden energy gap. Displayed here is the energy band diagram of a conductor, insulator, and a semiconductor. To know more, click on each energy band diagram. A conductor is a substance which has a large number of free electrons. When potential difference is applied across a conductor, the free electrons move from negative terminal to positive terminal of the supply, constituting electric current. Conductors allow the flow of electric current through them. For example, copper, aluminium, brass, nichrome and all metals are conductors. In fact, in metals like copper and aluminium, the valence band and the conduction band overlap in such a way that there is no forbidden gap. Thus, a slight potential difference across a conductor results in the movement of free electrons. Insulator is a substance that does not allow the flow of electric current through it. In terms of energy band, the valence band is full while the conduction band is empty. And moreover, the energy gap between the valence and conduction bands is very large, as shown in the figure. As a result of this, high electric field is needed to push valence electrons into the conduction band and electrical conductivity of such materials is extremely small and can be regarded negligible under normal conditions. Diamond, wood, glass, paper, etc. are insulators. Semiconductor is a substance whose electrical conductivity lies between that of conductors and insulators. According to the energy band theory, the valence band is almost filled and conduction band is almost empty, but the energy gap between valence and conduction bands is very small as shown in the figure. Therefore, a small potential is enough to push the electrons from the valence band to the conduction band. At low temperatures, semiconductor behaves as an insulator because of empty conduction band and full valence band. Semiconductors are the elements of the periodic table that exhibit high conductivity at high temperatures and nearly zero conductivity at low temperatures. Silicon and germanium are the two important semiconductors. Let us now understand how current flows through semiconductors. Select the semiconductor. This is how a germanium crystal is represented. The distribution of electrons in a germanium atom is given here. At absolute zero, all electrons of the semiconductor are tightly held. The inner electrons are bound, whereas the outer electrons are engaged in covalent bonding. At this temperature, covalent bonding is very strong, and hence there are no free electrons. Therefore, the semiconductor crystal behaves as a perfect insulator at absolute zero. At room temperature, due to thermal agitation, some of the covalent bonds are broken and electrons are available for conduction. The absence of electrons is represented by a small circle called hole. We observe that the movement of electrons and holes are oppositely directed. This is how a silicon crystal is represented. The distribution of electrons in a silicon atom is given here. At absolute zero, all electrons of the semiconductor are tightly held. The inner electrons are bound, whereas the outer electrons are engaged in covalent bonding. At this temperature, covalent bonding is very strong, and hence there are no free electrons. Therefore, the semiconductor crystal behaves as a perfect insulator at absolute zero. 
at room temperature due to thermal agitation some of the covalent bonds are broken and electrons are available for conduction the absence of electrons is represented by a small circle called hole this is how a germanium crystal is represented the distribution of electrons in a germanium atom is given here at absolute zero all electrons of the semiconductor are tightly held the inner electrons are bound whereas the outer electrons are engaged in covalent bonding at this temperature covalent bonding is very strong and hence there are no free electrons therefore the semiconductor crystal behaves as a perfect insulator at absolute zero at room temperature due to thermal agitation some of the covalent bonds are broken and electrons are available for conduction the absence of electrons is represented by a small circle called hole we observe that the movement of electrons and holes are oppositely directed this is how a silicon crystal is represented the distribution of electrons in a silicon atom is given here at absolute zero all electrons of the semiconductor are tightly held the inner electrons are bound whereas the outer electrons are engaged in covalent bonding at this temperature covalent bonding is very strong and hence there are no free electrons therefore the semiconductor crystal behaves as a perfect insulator at absolute zero at room temperature due to thermal agitation some of the covalent bonds are broken and electrons are available for conduction the absence of electrons is represented by a small circle called hole we observe that the movement of electrons and holes are oppositely directed